What's up guys, Barry Game here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we're taking an inspiration post from Reddit because, well, I've seen a lot of people returning to the game after maybe a year or so off. Uh, they're like, why is my Valkyrie not strong anymore? Here's my account, should I just restart? And the answer is, there's really no need to restart anymore. Uh, there's really no in like within your same server competition anymore. All guild activities aren't shared within the 10 grouping of servers. It's like across everything. So much of the game is across everything now that even if you're returning from years past, there's really no point starting with a fresh account unless you care about Crystal Crown League for the first six months because after that, it disappears and then everything else is cross server. Uh, some of them even cross, cross platform with Android and iOS servers being separate. Uh, there's game modes where they're the same. So we're gonna be going and taking a look at Vegetable Cap's account here because it's actually pretty on par for what you'd expect for a pretty optimal early game account. And there's really no need to restart either. So let's jump into it. I'm gonna show you guys what his account looks like and then we're gonna give advice pretty much to anybody who is returning. Let's jump right into it. So here we have the post on Reddit by Vegetable Cap. Come back or quit. Been away for about a year. Everything is a little different. Is it worth carrying on where I left off? And yes, it is most definitely worthwhile returning to the game, especially when you have an account that looks so optimal as this, because in reality, this is this is textbook exactly what you're supposed to do. You invest everything into your Eloise, get her as the main householder with V4. You build a Tix, Ithaqua, Carry, and Jara tenant. Uh, and you're even already working on the B minus Vesa that'll become your first transcendence hero as soon as you get your resources. There's no reason to not use this account. You even have uh, a, a Ignis that you could probably even make 10 star if you really wanted to leaving them at nine star probably the smart play until you finish all your tenants and then start spreading your uh, extra uh, stellar shards across all your tenants mainly the ones that are going to give you the biggest bonus like ticks and that you're going to use in most game modes because ticks is also useful in sea land by the looks of this count you should already have cleared uh sea land 20 and even pushing maybe even closer to sea land 21 or 22 depending on what you got uh and yeah this is a perfect example of what is perfect it's fine it's fine just keep doing this you build the vessa then transition over to a couple of heroes so here's my advice going out to you we're using this as a retrospective for vegetable cap but we're going to go over what your decision should be moving forward because this is again if you are an early game player like this and you have an account that's not even set up like this this is what you want to emulate this is the account you want to do you want to go for the fairy queen vest as your first transcendence hero and then you want to shift over to something different what i do want to talk about for those returning players as well new game modes and new tweaks that are coming that you need to focus on for power but not quite yet but it's nice to know that they are there so first and foremost it's talking about events what events should you be saving for well i mean save your heroic scrolls save your regular wishing coins up to like 2200 save your profit orbs up to 640 save your wait there's one other thing aren't there Feel like i'm missing something there's another resource you should be saving up uh but yes yeah, save them for the bigger events because what your goal should be doing is starting to accumulate essence sublimation selection chests and core of origin shard chests however don't use them right away because you're going to be in that early game state with eloise as your main damage dealer you're going to have fairy queen vesa as a support hero and again eloise gets all your resources eloise is going to become one of these nice shiny uh awakened heroes like this with a tree uh how far you go in the tree is up to you because you don't really unlock anything but it does give her more power uh and she's going to be the strongest one your fairy queen vesa Essa is simply going to get your leftovers and be a support hero. That's the way you do it. Once you get to your second transcendence hero, that's when you reshape your account. Optimally, you want to change your Fairy Queen Vesta to Lord of Fear Aspen and build your Scarlet Queen Halora as your second one, but only do that when you get to the stage of having two transcendence heroes. At that point, all of your power goes to your Lord of Fear Aspen. 
your secondary power going for the tree of origin goes to your scarlet queen halora and make sure you're really focusing on subliming out you're going to go want to go for full sublimations here and you're going to want to go for tree level 120 eventually going to about 100 is going to be kind of the optimal route because that unlocks all your tree branches 100 to 120 costs a ton of extra sublimation or not sublimation uh, uh spiritual essence the little yellow round potato looking things um that's going to be important down the road because you're going to want to go for the noble core of origin for lord of fear Aspen. however do not i repeat do not start cashing these chests in just yet if you don't need to getting a core of origin for him it's okay it's nothing super game changing when we're talking about uh lord of fear Aspen's primary core uh, it gives you like a little extra damage reduction and like it gives you a little bit to your team it does give some control immunity but it's not much it's not really even worth giving i think to your first hero what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to collect up eight of these chests because each one of these chests has 50 shards you need 100 shards to make one noble core and in order to make one core and in order to get a to a noble core you need a grand total of four full cores which means eight of these chests you never know by the time that you collect this many chests this much sublimation uh you might be wanting to go to a different hero and swap your heroes around which again is why you want to sparingly use soul symbols and save them up just in case you want to completely revamp your account change it up and uh move to a different strategy now beyond that type of power system there are of course a couple different ones out there one of them is x levels these only unlock after a certain point in the void campaign and they're just a straight buff to your main heroes of course the ones you want to be using the most you want to focus on first and then beyond that we have the transition tree the destiny transition tree is something if you're in this early game state you're not going to touch for a very long time. However, you want to keep saving resources with this being your ultimate goal for your Lord of Fear Aspen to kind of move forward. In order to unlock that, you need a full Noble Core and you need level 120. Once you do that, you unlock a whole new tree that has buffs to potentially your active skill, your passive skills, things like that that are going to enhance your hero even further. And then beyond that, it gives you a... Uh, power divine kind of star the more stars you have than your enemy you're going to get damage boost so if you're going against old content that doesn't have any divine power gap and you get up to a three you're going to do 30 percent more damage and these are calculated after all the damage calculations are done which is pretty huge so again this is the ultimate goal getting up to this scenario right here full sublimations noble core level 120 that's what it takes to unlock it and that's why i said just be slow and save your chest up now your sublimation you want to put into your lord of your aspen immediately but again your ultimate goal is to transition away from that eloise fairy queen vesta team to a lord of your aspen scarlet queen halar once you get to your second transcendence hero there are some other strategies but this is the tried and true method everybody knows about everybody's tested it and it's just the best most optimal method that we have seen let me know what you guys think if you're returning the game leave a comment down below uh we might do something where we do like free quick account tune-ups for returning players to get them back on the right track i'll see you guys next time